Do either of you feel like there's anything around you at all? Do you get, have you got any hair standing up or anything? I feel colder than what I did over there, but I think it's because think, we're next to yeah. a fireplace, mm. uh, an aircon bit over there, and it's just generally cooler. It's a bigger area, but I can't feel anything particularly paranormal. I mean, perhaps we look through the footage, you might see something that we missed whilst filming, but I don't know. I can't feel anything particular, particularly scary, and the rain as well being outside is difficult to yeah. distinguish any, any noise. Mm. We're not gonna, yeah, we can't. You know, really we ask the question, and we can't really tell whether anything's answering because all we can hear is the rain beating on the roof and yeah. the knocks in the building. I think okay. what I should say, Joe, is remember that there's a, a vent up there. So yeah. If you feel any cold breezes, I think okay. what I should say, Joe, is remember that there's a, a vent up there. So yeah. If you feel any cold breezes. Yeah. So if you feel any cold breezes, it's yeah. more likely going to be that. Oh, I don't know if I just got an orb. No. Something flew. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're here with us, is it possible that you can just, just move? Walk, sit down next to Joe. I can definitely um, see where this building's age is coming into effect now. There's a lot of little, little drips yeah. and stuff that are like gradually seeping in to the mm. building. Like over here, you down know, here, you're bending over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like there's water is that all coming mm. in just down here. There's somebody in this area with me. I want you to move this ring. Just move the ring and let me know that you're here. There you go. I'm going to try this again one more time in this area. I think you're here. Please prove us right. Just take a little wonder. Just to, oh, the screen light. Just like that. From what I can tell from what Sharon said in the interview, it seems as if if there is a spirit, then it's probably attached to her more than just to this pub itself. I think it's probably something that manifests itself when something changes in her life. Or, you know, like she said, she had a big party, which obviously is big noise, big disturbance, and obviously with things quieting down. And perhaps if there is a spirit that likes to, to follow her around or see what she's up to, then it might pop out. And, move things about but it seems for us that it's either nothing here or perhaps too many noises from outside so we can't distinguish any contact mm. but I think when, once the investigation is a bit oh. if you need to just got an orb then once the investigation is a bit oh. if you need to just got an orb then if oh. if you need to just got an orb then yeah yeah literally by your left shoulder yeah. It sort of started just, just almost in between your shoulder and the cushion oh, that wow. you're sitting on and just moved. 
I know it might feel strange that you have people in maybe what was your home or place that you just used to like to come in and have a good drink with your friends. But what we want to do is just understand a little bit more about you. If you're able to let us know anything that you're able to. So is there only one of you here? Or is there more than one? Are you a female? Or are you male? We're pretty much three quarters of the way through the investigation. If I'm honest, from this location here, I'm not really getting a great deal of uh, a feeling that there's anything within this location. The most, in, the most thing that I would say at the most is it's possibly, um, maybe not even quite residual, like a, a spiritual uh, visitation of sorts, perhaps in some form connected to Sharon. We've captured maybe what we believe to be one orb that we've seen on video, but other than that, there's not really a lot here. We can't rule anything out as yet because obviously we've got the, the footage to go through when we review it. You able to tap on the wall? Or just copy what I do, make a tap like this? I know we've got like a random orb, but just one orb I don't really feel is quite enough to go on. I would I'd be definitely saying I think that possibly the connection could be directly through her. Yeah, that's all I think it is. Or well, just the fact that we're strangers, you know, she's here, she's the owner, she's here quite a lot of the time obviously, and perhaps it's just familiar with her. Yeah. More happy to express itself, whereas us, we, we don't... It's like it just wants to do its own thing, yeah. rather than us testing it and saying... Yeah walk in front of this and say this and move yeah. that, it's like, nah, I'm just going to tidy up when I want to. <laughs> I'm just going to move the flowers when I want to, thanks very much. <laughs> if you want to call it haunting or spiritual attachment or whatever, we definitely believe that potentially it could just be centering around the person that owns the building, Sharon. We think it's some form of like um, spiritual attachment because to be honest, from the activity that she reports, there's not an awful lot actually happening. We used all our methods effectively, but unfortunately wasn't much activity tonight. I think changing temperature this evening, we felt a lot of cold spots, but that could be because obviously the windows and the building is quite old and obviously all the heating's been turned off, so we're not really sure what could have been the cause of that. Perhaps it's paranormal, perhaps it's not. I I didn't feel spooked out, freaked out. In the final part, and we're definitely 100%. There is a form of paranormal activity out there. You just got to find it, locate it, watch the review, watch everything that you can that we get from this place. If we're going to be able to get it, paranormal GI are going to be able to get it.